All right, today we have an activity in class, and this is an activity that will take um, up where we left off before with jQuery Mobile, and it will expand it to start talking about jQuery Mobile with regards to forms. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I have a form that I, that I use in an example in my CISS 216 class. If you look at your lab assignment, your next lab assignment relates to taking that um, pizza form that you did in CISS 216 and making a jQuery mobile version of it. But I have an example form that you can download and you can apply jQuery mobile to it to give it a more app-like look. All right. Now I'm going to show you an example. This example is from last Wednesday's example. Um, the add a tartan was a PHP page but I'm going to go and simply rename it as a .html page so that we can see the form code in it. Did we figure out how to apply anything correctly? That's a good question. I did not. Um, um, I got mine to partially work, okay. not fully. All right. That would be a good one to play with if you have extra time today. And, and we'll try to remember to, uh, to uh, um, go over this. When you're done, if you could post this to the bulletin board within Angel as an example. All right. I'm going to go and I'm going to rename this guy to be build.html if you want an example. And if we look at it and open it up in Chrome, you see that it has some different controls on it and it has the look of jQuery mobile. Now if we look at this guy, we'll see that the specifics of it are different, but the idea is the same, whereas we have data roles, list views, list dividers, and so on down the line. They do have a snippet of PHP code, but we'll disregard that. Um, we'll come to that later on uh, in the semester. So what I want you to do is I want you to take this form, form three. A very straightforward form. It just has essentially one of everything. It has a text box. It has a drop down for major. It has check boxes for interest. It has a radio button for residency. And then finally, there's comments. And I want you to apply the jQuery mobile look to it. Now, keep in mind that that example is not meant to be comprehensive, the example that I show you. There you can you can show checkboxes a whole bunch of different ways. So if you do a quick Google of jQuery mobile and then look for checkboxes, let's say. Here's some demos of how checkboxes can look. All right, so much nicer than the standard, um, much nicer than the standard look for it. How do you do that? Well, again, you can do that by applying the proper data rules for that. So that's what I'd like you to do, do today. When you're done, upload it to the um, bulletin board. Um, I'm going to record this for the student that doesn't attend classes. I'll post it up there, and hopefully he'll work through this example and, and post it um, as well. All right.